another round of applause. It's what, 75 degrees out? It's not raining. It's beautiful. It's actually feeling like a June day, isn't it? Perfect day to celebrate the achievements of this class. Before we get started, I'd like you to know a little bit about this class. Seven of students up on stage came to this program speaking little to no English. They have passed all three MCAS. They, some of them have been in the program six, seven years because they had to learn to speak English in order to pass the MCAS in order to get their high school diploma. We have a woman up on stage whose children you will see. Um, she has worked multiple jobs. Her husband works two jobs. They have six children and one on the way. And she was able to. Uh, yes, I see you back there. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> I cannot imagine working, having a family of six. She started, I might be wrong, I'm going to say eight years ago. Um, close enough, um, and the children came throughout the years, but she never stopped working and she never stopped coming to school. And her husband, who I want to meet later and give a great big hug, held down the home and worked multiple jobs for this all to happen. We have someone here um, tonight that, um, well, he had one student who was an honor student and another student who wasn't. And he said, you know, it's never too old to go, um, you're never too old to go back and teach your child a lesson and get your diploma. So he said, I'm gonna show you how it's done. You might not have done it the best traditional way, the easiest way, but I'll get my diploma and you'll get yours. So we have a dad who started out in this program to show his son that he could do it and ended up halfway through saying, I'm doing this for me. And that's pretty darn special. I look at our stage tonight and I look at the accomplishments of these special graduates and how hard they have all worked, what they had to do to reach the stage tonight. And I marvel at what the future of this country can be. Don't tell me that we need to make America better. America rocks. And it's because of people like who is sitting on our stage now willing to work that hard to live out an American dream. I am thrilled to say that this was the first year that we started having career programs with specific skills. We have our first team of nurses aides going into local nursing homes this weekend. They will have their uh, license to be a certified nurses aide. Um, trust me, we need lots of them. What a beautiful state. <laughs> While I'm up here, I want to thank a couple of people who um, need to be thanked. First of all, um, Dick Phelps, who is on our school committee, who has been 
a campaigner for this program for as long as I can remember. Dick, would you wave to everyone? We probably have one of the best programs in the state as far as facility and opportunity. We have four computer labs we use, we have a science lab we have access to, we have a TV station, we have anything that you could possibly want in an evening program. I know people who run programs in the state that are begging for two computers. So we owe that to a team of representatives from this community that said, yeah, use our school, use our computers. This is the town of Rockland School, this is for all who want to better their life. So without that support, we wouldn't have this program. I also want to thank all the staff. If I added up all the years that our staff had taught, it's very likely to be around 400 years. I just want you to know that. We have an honored speaker tonight um, who has been in the night program for over three decades and in the day program for over three decades. Um, just with three people alone on our staff, we've reached 100 years of service. You cannot imagine uh, the quality of teaching that goes on. Our students would tell you all about it and how fortunate we are to have the staff we have. So staff, I thank you all as well. I also want to thank, you're going to get to meet the, the new uh, Rockland High School principal, Mr. John Harrison. He's going to come up on the stage in a moment. And um, he is going to support this program. He's told me that. I know he will. So after I leave, it's going to be secure. And thank you, Mr. Harrison, for that. He has said and made that promise to me. And of course, we all will hold him to that. No pressure. Um, I also want to thank someone who loves this program so much, the chair of the Rockland School Committee, Mr. Dan Biggins. And uh, let's give him a hand as well. <laughs> Mr. Biggins serves on our community planning committee. He is eager to help with anything we need. Please understand, without these people and their support, they are the movers and the shakers of this town, and we need them. So they're very special to this program. Once again, I thank you so much for uh, coming this evening. So having said that, we have an outstanding class. We have a class full of pride. We have an audience full of pride. We have students sitting out there saying that will be the, me this time next year. I have one student on stage who told me a few minutes ago, I came to a friend's graduation seven years ago, and that's why I'm here tonight. She said, I'm going to be up on that stage. So we are so proud of the accomplishments here of our students and so proud of our staff and so proud of our supporters. So having said that, I mentioned a little while ago that our honored speaker tonight has been here 35 years? 35 years. She's been in the night program almost since its very beginning, which goes back, I believe, to the late 80s just want to say that. She has the history of this town and this program all up here. Please give a round of applause to Miss Diane Corr. Congratulations, graduates. You made it, and you did it with courage, determination, and class. You and your families made sacrifices in order for you to be sitting where you are tonight. It took courage for you to walk through the high school doors for the first time, not knowing what to expect. You had determination, you knew what you wanted, and you never gave up. 
fight the obstacles and challenges each of you faced. Finally, we did it with class. I'm not really sure what class means, but I know what it looks like, and you have it. You bonded as a group and supported one another and enjoyed each other's accomplishments. All of us involved in the program appreciate your accomplishments as well. Mark Twain once said, the only place where success comes before work is in the dictionary. You have achieved success because of all your work. As you leave us to go to your next endeavor, we wish you the best and congratulate you on work well done. You will be missed. Diane has told me that after all her years of service, she is going to move on during the day, but stay with us at night. So there you go. <laughs> um, I would like at this time to allow everyone to meet our new principal. Uh, Mr. Harrison, I, I told him at graduation well, as we were lining up in the, uh, in the uh, gymnasium, something that I thought the timing was right to say. He is excellent for this school, for this town. He is what we wanted. He has it all knocked. We have, I have so much confidence as I leave next year um, and move on myself to be in a full-time Grammy. I know that Mr. Harrison will keep the spirit that I always loved and cherished about the school and the town. Mr. Harrison. Good evening and thank you, Ms. Patton, for the introduction. Good evening, school committee, director, Ms. Patton, faculty, families, and most importantly, the graduates here tonight. It's great, it's my great pleasure to be here to speak to the graduates. It's my first year in Rockland, and I feel so fortunate to be a part of this community. I previously worked in a large high school as a math teacher and an assistant principal at a regional high school that's rural, not too far from here. In both the prior districts where I've worked, in the communities, they didn't have a night school or a night program like the Rockland Regional Adult Learning Center. After one year at the high school as the building principal, I've had the opportunity to collaborate with your director, Ms. Patton, and I work very closely with your faculty, many of which who work with me during the day. And you must be very proud of this program. It really is special. But I've heard great stories about this class. I've heard stories about the commitment to their education their ability to juggle work, family, and school, and their resi resilience to face challenges head on. I've seen you throughout the year, throughout the building, and I admire your dedication, your passion, and your maturity. You've contributed positively to our community, and I thank you for that. The Rockland Regional Adult Learning Center has given you the opportunity to pass the MCAS, the statewide test, which is a graduation requirement to get your diploma. You've excelled on these tests, but this program, this school, has allowed you to explore different career pathways as well, including Microsoft Office specialists, medical terminology, pharmacy technicians, and nursing assistants. You've excelled in these courses and programs, and tonight you'll receive your diploma.